Hello, my writer friends. Welcome to Write with Intent. I'm Mindy Arnett, sci-fi and fantasy author, here bringing you all the tips, tricks, and tools of the trade to help you on your publishing journey the way that I've learned to do it on mine. Today, we've got an archery clinic. I'm so excited to share with you the details about how to write, about riding and shooting arrows on horseback. My co-star today is Newt, this little furry animal. He is an off-the-track thoroughbred. Um, which means that he is an ex racehorse and this is his first time so I'm not sure how it's going to go but either way we're going to learn kind of the perspective of what it's like to ride your horse and shoot arrows. Hey good morning guys it's uh, day of the archery clinic we're just loading up the horses and we're going to be on our way. All right, to start off the day, the first thing we did was learn the proper way to shoot a bow while on horseback. What we're talking about here is the difference between the three finger grip and the thumb grip. And of course, Natasha, our fearless leader, is suggesting that the thumb grip is the way to go. Uh, I think it's beginner friendly, that's why I teach it. Um, I learned how to do three fingers when I first started a Mediterranean draw, and I really wish I'd have learned thumb draw first because like, I would have had like so much fewer problems when I started out. So when I first started out, I first started out with Mooney, my mule, and um, he was like a trip to ride because, well, he didn't know much when I got him, and I was like, let's just do that at archery, which was like a great plan. Not really. Um, so my seat wasn't developed that great on him yet, and so when I would go to shoot with three fingers, my arrow would bounce around. And then also, if you're like me, and I got really, really excited, and I would draw back my arrow, and I would grip too tight, and your arrow would do this. Like, there's literally <laughs> a video of me like, oh crap, like. <laughs> So I don't like teaching three fingers. I teach thumb draw because it locks the arrow into place. So what we do is we take our thumb, we hook it underneath of the arrow, and then we take our index finger and grab our thumbnail on the right side of the bow. And that way you can twist your index finger into the arrow. So you can see like where my index finger is on the arrow. You can twist it into the arrow and it holds it into place. Like I can literally like maneuver it myself with my index finger. Okay? So when you go to shoot, thumb draw, finger underneath, push, pull, aim, and shoot. So notice my hand went back like this. I always tell people to get rid of it, okay? You wanna get more power out of your bow. If you sit there and tell it to make good choices, it's not gonna go anywhere. Don't tell your arrow to make good choices. Don't tell it to make good choices, okay? <laughs> sit there and pull it back and tell it to go and be free and wonderful, okay? <laughs> All right, so you guys wanna go with this arm? Sure. Good. My first observation here is that shooting isn't nearly as easy as Natasha makes it seem. Yep. And then yeah. slap it, slap it, grab it, grab yep. it in the front, and then you're gonna come back with, I always say they'll have dainty, little dainty fingers, mm -hmm. and then flex that thumb knuckle up where your knuckle is still hanging on to the arrow, and then you, you eat it. it, like baby shark. Like, I didn't just slap you. Yeah, just like that, and then you just pull back. Well, but you wanna be underneath of the gold uh, knuckle. Underneath point. Yeah. That. Okay, so. After practicing shooting for a while, it's time to bring in the horses. So one of the first things that I have noticed as a horseback rider and also a reader is that a lot of people get horses wrong when they're riding about them. And one of the most important things to know about horses is how much personality they have. So what I'm showing you right here is the contrast between two of my horses. So the one new who I introduced earlier. And then this black horse here, her name is Lisey, um, that my daughter is riding. And I'm just going to kind of show you the differences in how the two horses responded to the shooting with the bow and arrow. And as you'll notice is that Newt is a lot more forward and more energetic, which is partly his personality. And partly it's because he was starting to get nervous, whereas Lisey, as you see here, is walking about as slow as possible and putting zero effort into it partly because that's her personality and partly because she is really not sensitive. And so again, here we have Newt taking off a little bit as I'm starting to shoot. As we progress through the class, Newt actually began to get worse and worse as his nerves kind of built up. Um, and of course, riding a nervous horse while trying to shoot makes shooting incredibly difficult. So if you were gonna write a scene like this, if you have a horse like right here, or he's bolting, um, you know, they wouldn't be very effective at riding it. Well then of course you have Lisey, who as the day went on, not only continued to be very steady, but she was able, my daughter was able to canter and trot her through and shooting the arrows.
And now for some final tips with our pro. Hey guys, I'm here with Natasha Hockadin, who is the fabulous mounted archery clinician that I have, this is not my second time working with her, so I'm, but don't look at my video and think that that's normal because my horse is kind of a dingus today, so, um, but anyway, we'll talk about that later. So Natasha does archery clinics yes. regularly in the Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio sort of area. So if you want to get in touch with her to book one at your site or to maybe participate, do you allow non-horse people occasionally or do they need to bring their own horses? Um, so like we rent horses sometimes depending on where we go, but they do have to have horse experience because okay. this is something to learn new with your horse. It's not something for you to like learn how to ride and shoot because you have to have developed seat and balance when okay. you do this sport. Yeah. All right. So if you've got some horse experience and you're interested in doing this, you can totally contact her and set this up and I, it's worth doing 100%, so much fun. All right, so Natasha, you know, my viewers are writers and a lot of them are fantasy writers and in fantasy we have a lot of horses oh, yeah. and a lot of war and <laughs> Lord of the Rings type stuff. So as an instructor and a competitor, she also competes in mounted archery. Um, what are some of the top things that you see that people do wrong in film or in books? Um, some of the biggest ones are like, form so like when they try to get the dramatic shot in like a movie so like the hunger games um there's one point where like katniss is holding the bow and arrow drawed back and she's like really focused on getting that shot but like if you pause it and actually look like her nose is literally like in the string so like if she were to let go she would like practically cut her nose off <laughs> so don't do that <laughs> it's gonna hurt um some other things are like when people do like they pull like multiple arrows and they're trying to shoot like multiple arrows on the same string. Like I know a couple people who are like master archers. Like I don't know them personally, but I've seen them on the internet that like can do it. But like for just you guys doing it, I would definitely not recommend it. Cause like, I don't even try it. I just think it's too dangerous. Um, I just think it instills like a, a false confidence in people, okay. you know what I mean? So if your character is brand new to this thing, like they're not going to be shooting three arrows no. at once, right? Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Same as if they're brand new to riding, they're not going to be up there cantering and doing a bunch of hard stuff either because it is really tough. We'll get to those vlogs later. All right. Well, those are some really great tips. Thank you so much. Um, and if you have questions or comments or anything that specific you'd like maybe Natasha to answer, comment down below and I will get in touch with her and try to answer those for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time. So much fun. I can't wait to do more mounted archery. Yeah, it was so much fun. All right. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. guys.